A young child needs your help tonight. Three-year-old Avery Stokes was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes exactly one year ago today. And now her family is reaching out in hopes to get their daughter a service dog. Our Kayla Carlisle joins us now. Kayla, tell us a little bit about Avery. Well, Mike, like you just mentioned, Avery is only three years old, which means she's too young to know when her blood sugar levels are off. Her mom says she's already passed out a few times from this condition and wants to get a service dog to help. Problem is, these service dogs don't come cheap. Just like most three-year-old girls, Avery Stokes likes to play with her dolls. But that playtime gets cut short if Avery's blood sugar gets too high or too low. She'll just be running around playing and then there's been a couple times where she'll just pass out in the floor because she was low and we didn't know it. Avery's mom says a diabetes service dog can help save her daughter's life. So she wears a monitor that helps us monitor her blood sugar, but because she changes so quickly, a lot of times it can't catch up. Once Katie realized what needed to be done, she went on a mission. That mission led her to Dylan's Dogs for Diabetes. Owner and founder Dylan Lancaster is just in high school, but his idea of helping kids with type 1 diabetes hits close to home. I've had diabetes for 10 years now and it stinks. When I was nine, I knew about um, the, the glucose monitors, the ones that can tell you what your blood sugar is, but that was not when I needed another needle in my body. That was when I needed a friend. Service dogs like Jack are trained to alert owners when a problem has surfaced. Oh, he's the best. A simple touch from the sidekick can go a very long way, but these dogs come at a high price. Avery's family has raised $8,000 already for her service dog, but that's only half of what they need. And with the government shut down, both Katie and Derek Stokes are currently furloughed and making no income. That there is literally no donation that is too small. Every amount matters and we need your help. Now for more on Dylan and Avery's story, make sure to download the Rocket City Now news app. Of course, we'll have a link to donate on the app as well as more on Dylan's dogs for diabetes. Putting the Valley first, I'm Kayla Carlisle, WZDX News.